Hey everyone, it's Tiana from the Maniology team here with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey, whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack. We're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join us. And um, I, I love coming on to the lives and seeing all the conversation that's already happening. So thank you so much for our community for just always kind of getting things jump started while we are, you know, uh, getting set up over here. Today, I can already tell you it's going to be a long live because there's a lot of reverse stamping. I know a lot of you guys love the reverse stamping, so that's awesome. Um, but before I jump into all of that, we also know that you never want to miss another Maniology Live, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you love our videos, remember to share the content with your friends and family. Please, please, please. Of course, we're always trying to grow our community here, so um, feel free to go ahead and do that. Write your comments. We have a really active community who loves just talking, talking about what's on topic and sometimes not what's on topic. We love to talk about food here too, so if you're into that, then definitely you want to subscribe. And so many things going on. Um, don't miss out on our anniversary giveaway. Our big five giveaway is still going on. You have another less than a week to go ahead and enter. There is over 200 plus uh, worth of nail art items that we're coming out with in June. You can also earn our Lay Day Anniversary Bundle as well as our new merch within the same theme, a really cute tote bag. And wait, why am I even talking about this? Duh, I can, hold on, hold on. Brain fart, but I'll, hold on. You know me, I always like to show the goods if we have it, and we definitely have it. So um, one of the items that is like a, a merch item, and hint, hint, wink, wink, if you guys haven't checked out our merch or knew that Maniolo Maniology had merch. But look how cute this tote is. This is our medium sized tote. It has this really cute design with uh, the Maniology, our signature bottle here. Let me just like pop in a bottle so you can see. That's so cute. And some really beautiful Hawaii florals here with the lei and then also don't mind the plastic, but we this is the first design where we came out with a tumbler. It has like this matching design which is so cute. It's metal and has like a opening over here too. So enter our giveaway. The link is in the description. You can go ahead and get a chance to win one of these as well as a bunch of other nail art stuff to get you ready for summer. So don't forget, go ahead and enter. Link is in the description. And we also have a new app, Maniology is with it. So if you are a Apple or Android user, definitely go ahead and um, download our app, check it out, let us know how you like it. And uh, there's a lot of really cool things, really easy to keep communication with us. And you know we're so happy that we could now offer this really cool app to all of our fans. Okay, okay, I think we're good. Is that all the reminders? I believe so. So today, mermaid core, that is the theme. I already see that so many of you guys are t um, talking amongst yourself about the mermaids and, you know, I was kind of inspired by this. I'll be completely honest right off the bat. I have not seen the new movie. However, I am a child that uh, was born in the eighties and I grew up watching the little mermaid. Um, and, you know, so naturally, I think it just falls into my generation and stuff, too. So now I'm starting to see fashions and definitely a lot of nail art coming out that is really iridescent and, you know, fun. A lot of these kind of colors and stuff. This is Sunray, by the way, the Sunray collection that has not come out yet, but it will. 
This is seaweed. I, oh no, sorry, fish scale. But this collection has so many colors that I feel are just so falls in that mermaid, mermaid core kind of uh, feeling. This is a color from, um, this is Expedition Pearl. This is from the Moonbeams collection. So I'll also be using this. I'll be using a whole bunch of colors. So today, use whatever you feel is most um, mermaid-like, of course. I'm gonna be using a whole lot of purples, a whole lot of underwater, you know, um, colors and stuff. So let's just stop talking and just make a start, right? Okay. Uh, I was all comfortable and then I had to get up from my spot. So today I'll be featuring um, five different styles using these three plates. Now it's so, you can really tell, I think, how other people are also um, inspired by the Little Mermaid or just like mermaid themes in general because I actually have three artist collaborations who I feel probably got, um, was inspired by the Little Mermaid at some point. And that's also what M Mermaid Core, the whole aesthetic of Mermaid Core is, is, you know, the live action, the Little Mermaid movie. So first I'm gonna be featuring, um, let's see, this artist collaboration. This is Just a Girl on Her Nails, M005. And so we'll be using this really cute fish tail jumping out of the water and then also this beautiful kind of scallop but it's a different kind of scallop design and we got this one too this one just um came out not too long ago the mermaid polish i think it's pretty signature in the name itself but this plate is m370 and I love this plate because it has a lot of dark themes too. So, you know, if you're looking for something that's a little outside of just a cutesy, cutesy um, Little Mermaid, then I think that's really cool. Um, so I will be doing a reverse stamping of this Little Mermaid over here, but there's a lot of cute designs if you haven't picked up this plate yet. And this is an oldie but goodie. So, um, one of our very first artist collaborations that we did way back when, when we were actually Bundle Monster and not Maniology. This is um, Twice Star. I do not believe Twice Star does art anymore. However, this artist was a YouTuber who did a lot of really cool art. Um, and we collabed with this artist and just has a lot of really cool ocean themes you know, your signature uh, fish scale design, all kinds of stuff over here. So we are gonna be using these three plates. And I already kind of prepped some nail tips already. Let me come in a little closer and get this area ready, okay. So nothing um, too crazy. This is just a white base. This I used um, Frosty. Frosty and I um, used fish, fish Scale over. That's how I got that. This is actually just Frosty on its own, so I will be using that color tip as well. This color is um, Frozen which is like a really icy, pearly white, silvery white. And then I went ahead and put that Expedition Pearl on top of the manicure, or over the base, I'm sorry. And so that's how I got that effect. And you know what's so fun too? And this one is Kailua. Be using a lot of this color, and I'm so happy because I feel like with this theme, naturally, a lot of times, because I feel like it shows better for camera, at least that's the reason why I choose cream colors. 
Um, it, you know, a lot of times when you have special effects polishes, it doesn't really show that much through the video. But you know what? Today is Mermaid and we're gonna go crazy and use special effects polish because it just calls for it. It would almost seem inappropriate if we didn't use it. Um, so there's that. Also, everyone say hi to Dev. She's gonna be online with us as well, who's um, answering questions and stuff. So say hi. Alrighty, let me just get my brain together. Let's do some like simple stuff because I, I'll tell you now, the reverse stamping is gonna be a, a little bit. So I hope you guys wanna stay online with me for a while. Oh my gosh, this color is so delicious, by the way. Ocean floor. Um, this color is not on the website yet. This is only early release. If you, any of you are um, Manny by me, you have probably received this color already, but this color is just delish. So I'm actually gonna take this. This kind of reminds me of like a, what is it? Um, their castle, the Little Mermaid castle from the cartoon. I'm gonna be referencing probably things from the cartoon because like I said, I haven't seen the live action movie. So, but I wanted to kind of do a darker underwater scene. So that's what I'm gonna be using, ocean floor. Look at all those beautiful colors. Look how nicely that picks up. Green, blue. And I'm gonna stamp this over the purple. I love how eerie that kind of looks. So if you see me getting like really all into it with these colors, it's because I really don't get to use these colors very often. So it makes me happy. So oceanically scrumptious. <laughs> It is, it definitely is, okay. And here I have that Frosty as a base and I'm gonna go in with, <clears throat> excuse me, a lighter color which is Transland here, which is like a, in comparison, you can see it's just slightly lighter. I don't want it to be a heavy focal point, but I want it to kind of be a part of the background. So I'm gonna grab this image here. Pick up. And I love that this fish scale design actually has some distressing in it. Watch when I stamp. So you see all that distressing? It, it just kind of gives it a different look. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna stamp something over this, which is gonna be like this uh, kind of cool brooch-like design or cameo. So I'm gonna pick that up. Let me do this in black. Initially, I had done it in purple, and I was like, eh. Where is our straight up? Oh, I love that little pearl at the top too. Okay, so let's take that scallop off. And now we're gonna do some reverse stamping. 
of this design here. Got my little cheat. So I'm going in with uh, Kailua. And I'm just gonna color the inside of this oval here. So I think I see a question about like why core or why is it called mermaid core? So I noticed that this generation, you know, when we're talking about styles and trends and things like that, it just seems to be a very trendy like um, way of saying like a style or an aesthetic, a mood, things like that. So mermaid core is just what this new style is called. It's not something I created. It's something that is in style now. And um, yeah, just like there's like cottage core, there's other, I'm sure you guys could help me out with a different kind of uh, air quote core aesthetics. So right now, if you're just joining us, I'm doing a reverse stamping technique and just coloring the inside of this kind of like cameo. That's what it, this looks like to me. It's a cameo, like a brooch. Okay, I wanna see a show of hearts. Whoever has seen Little Mermaid or comes from the same generation who else had a crush on Prince Eric? I can't be the only person who had a crush on a animated character. There is no way. And I also had crushes on other animated characters, but I think it was just the time in which Disney was creating, you know, these uh, kind of heartthrobby princes. <laughs> Maybe it's the tall, dark, and handsome thing going on. Okay. So if you're wondering why I didn't, you know, kind of close up that whole space, I definitely could have, but it's black. So I don't have to um, color the whole thing because you're not gonna see it, but this is what um, it looks like underneath. Ooh, yes, Aladdin. Michelangelo the turtle. Thank you. My other one is uh, Dimitri from Anastasia. That was definitely a, a crush. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um, let that sit for a little bit because if I go ahead and transfer this design now to the nail, all I'm gonna get is a smushy design. So this needs to dry. And for now, I'm just gonna move on from this design while well, I let that dry. Okay, so no, note to anybody else who d wants to do like reverse stamping, it's just something to take note of, okay? And let's see. Let's move on to our next design. Fishtail. Oh, Angel had a crush on Dimitri too. See, I knew I just had to pose the question. <laughs> I was like, I, I can't be the only person out there who's like, oh, these characters are so dreamy. And I don't know, just it was a lasting, uh, had a lasting effect, I guess. <laughs> go in I have another stamper here and let's take off the little tail bye bye little tail we're just gonna keep the big one 
with the cute little wave, okay? And let's do some reverse stamping here as well. So right here, I'm gonna go in with that um, ocean depths again for the tail. Sorry, I'm trying to read the comments too while doing this. Sorry, if it seems like in the video I'm taking a while to place, it's because doing reverse stamping on camera is not recommended. <laughs> it just requires, you know, a different, uh, it's so different if you're doing this at home, you know, and doing it for you versus doing it for a uh, video audience. You know, I want to make sure obviously you guys can see what I'm doing and catch the details, but okay, let's see what that looks like. Nice. Okay, I see some spots that I'm missing. Let me put a little more polish. And just a, little, a quick note, you know, if um, you've never seen this technique that I'm doing right now called reverse stamping, we have a lot of really cool videos that show this technique, but not only that, we have some really helpful videos that we've done in the past that could probably uh, be used to help. So check those out. But all I'm doing right now is putting on polish on the underneath of the stamp design. So you're kind of thinking about this image backwards. That's what I'm doing. I'm coloring this image backwards. So that's why I'm showing you the design when I flip it over so you can see how it's going to look on the nail. And you always want to do this technique with wet polish. This color is so delicious. Delicious. Okay. So there, that's what the fishtail looks like. Okay. And I am just taking a detail brush. That's pretty much what I'm doing all the work with a detail brush. So again, we're just going to leave that on the side because we don't want to transfer that when it's super wet. Let's go back to this design. Remember this design that I was just working on? Okay, so now I'm going to take some sticky base coat. That's what this awesome orange stuff in a bottle is. And I'm gonna lightly float some of this because honestly, if you put too much onto your surface, you can smudge the stamping polish. So I'm gonna try my best to just float the sticky base over this so I don't mess up the underneath. Okay. And I'm just gonna kind of concentrate that in the middle because that's where I'm gonna put the design. And let's leave it like that. <laughs> I think I started a conversation, huh, here? <laughs> okay. So... After putting that on, I would wait about 45 seconds. Okay, so I can see a little bit of my, um, what is it, my thumb, my fingerprint in it, so it's tacky and not wet. If we let this sit for too long, it's just gonna dry completely like a regular base coat and you'll have to do this process over again. So let me just go ahead and stamp this on. 
because I believe it's ready for transfer. And there you go. So our second design is done. And we're just going to go ahead and top coat this with, of course, our smudge free top coat. I love the way our smudge free top coat smells. Don't forget to cap the free edge. There you go. And actually, since I have this done, I'm gonna go ahead and top this with a smudge free top coat as well. So now going back to this design here. So I told you that this was, um, was it Frosty? With a top coat of seaweed with this over. So that's why you can see like those little fiery pinks inside, which I think is so beautiful. Coming back in with our sticky base coat, we're gonna go ahead and put a thin layer over the top of this so we can transfer our fish tail, mermaid tail, onto the design. So it says, I see a comment from Stephanie at so I am struggling with reverse stamping. It comes out light or the whole image doesn't pick up. Okay, so I think that has to do with the initial pickup, not with the reverse stamping. So um, if you're not using a stamp, stamping polish to pick up your images, I would definitely use that. Um, it could also be that the I think we're ready. Could also mean that maybe your stamper head needs to be cleaned as well. We have some really good videos on like do's and don'ts. Okay, right there. Okay, so for the bottom part, I'm actually going to take these because it kind of looks like bubbles to me. And we're going to do, let's see, come back in with my white and pick this up. So I'm going to take out the parts that I don't need, like the stars, and just use the bubbles. Okay. So what I mean is I'm going to go ahead and take off like that star, take off these two stars in the middle. I don't need that. We don't have stars in the ocean, right? I'm just using the corner of my card here to take those parts off because I don't want them to get onto the design. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp those bubbles wherever I feel like I need to. Or those dots, rather. That's kind of what the design is looking like right now. I'll put these dots wherever I need them and kind of fill up the spaces. I'm just like lightly tapping this. So if you're wondering like, how is she doing that? I am literally just lightly tapping. You see, I still have dots on the stamper. 
I may not end up using all of them. So let's just clean off that part. And I'm gonna add something like a little, little decoration there. Let's see. Hmm. Let's do this under the sea. Okay, let's come in with a darker purple. Let's do Serenity. And I'm gonna stamp that here under the C. Under the sea. What do you guys think? I love how this turned out. So since that's the end of this design, let's go ahead and finish it with our smudge free top coat. And now we're going to go into the reverse, the hardcore reverse stamping. I don't know why I decided to do all like the easy, easy ones, but like I said, you guys are going to be on here a while with me today, I guess. <laughs> okay, so moving on, moving on. I said I was going to pick up one of the mermaids and do that. So let's do that. We're going to use this one right here, okay? I'm going to go in with my black, my straight up black stamping polish and I'm gonna pick this up. Now, so I know I'm not gonna be able to transfer the whole image to the nail, um, but a, a good portion of it, I will be able to transfer. So I'll pick up what I can. Hopefully that is a good pickup. Okay, good. That is a great pickup. That scraping job was kind of giving me pause but we're, we're all good now, okay? I'll take some of this off because I know I'm not gonna be able to transfer all of that. Okay. And I also want to remove the face on the starfish as well. Eh, you know what, Never mind. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. And this design is going to go over this here. Let me go ahead and clean up my little color palette that I have here because we're going to be using a lot of colors for this. Okay, so let's go into the skin part. I really like this color. Um, I'm using Sequoia. And <clears throat> I'm going to go in with this color. And actually, I'm going to mix it with just a hint of white. Just a little bit. That's even like too much, just like a little dot. I'm just making up my own color here, so. Sorry, I think the camera's kind of... Actually, I wonder if that will help. Okay, so now I'm gonna focus on the skin color part, the doing the body. So 
So I'm sorry if it gets a little quiet in here. And this is why you really need a nice fine brush like what I'm using now. It's already getting sticky under these lights. I can, oh, okay. You know, and when all else fails, don't chance it. Just move on, try to be flexible and stuff because working, I'm working under different conditions than I think what average people would be. You know, I don't think anybody's using doing this kind of stuff under studio lighting. So I don't think, you know, this is anything you would really have to worry about, but Let me see if I can try and hurry. So if any of you are just joining us, we are doing Mermaid Core Nails. Mermaid Core is a style that is going to become really popular. If some of you um, are always on Instagram or anything like that, you guys have probably seen people are just into the scallop nails, iridescent colors, all kinds of stuff. So um, this is inspired by the live action um, Little Mermaid movie that has uh, come out. And yeah. Been seeing a lot of Ursula um, like videos and stuff too where influencers are making like beauty videos of Ursula, which is always fun. When I was a kid, I was really afraid of her two hench, hench eels. <laughs> Flotsam and Jetsam. That was with their name, right? Flotsam. I think it was our crazy eye. So that's what it's coming out to look like so far. Looks like I got some areas that I've missed, so. So let, I'll be honest, when I am working outside of the video, I don't have to do this many mixes of, of color. I'm usually able to kind of go through the process pretty seamlessly with like one mix of colors like this. But yeah, these lights are kind of changing up the, the way that the stamping polish is working. So I'm trying to work quickly, but still stay within the lines. And stuff. Oh, totally forgot I had to do her belly. got a corally color. I'm going to use Sun Blaze here. I'm just going to put a little dollop here. I forgot to color in the lips. I should probably should have done that first. And I also have to do the white part. 
which is the eye, which I don't need a lot of white. And actually, since I'm here using all these other colors, I have her eyebrow that I want to fix because there was a part in the eyebrow that didn't quite lift, and that was due to me picking up the image. So let me see if I can color, color in her eyebrow a little bit. Okay. Now I can continue with her skin. And of course, Everything is like dried up already. Don't worry, this is just me kind of creating my own thing. covering up the rest of her face. Okay. I'm just gonna go through, cause I still see some holes and areas where maybe the polish didn't pick up. So I'm just gonna try and fill in what I can. See? So that's what she looks like there. Okay, so let's move on. I'm gonna come in with that Ocean Depths color that I told you I am just so in love with. And I see some fins under the arm here, I'm going to go ahead and color those. I'm also going to use the same color for the tail as well, the major part of the tail. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. So let's color in the scallop shells for the bra part. And then I'm going back in with that Kailua color, which is like this beautiful kind of um, duochrome purple. I'm actually, you see like these little fish scale parts? I'm gonna go ahead and color 
like the waist over here and that color. The micro shimmers in this purple are gorgeous and they kind of have like a um, kind of bluey green to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of Like I said, I know I'm not going to get the whole towel on, but I'm going to color whatever I can. Okay. And let's go back in with that Ocean Depths color. And color in the tail. I could go ahead and, you know, grab a thicker brush if I wanted to, but I like using the thinner brush. I, you, you can see I'm actually grabbing a little more paint than I normally would if I had like a really kind of detailed area. So um, I have the ability to grab as much or as little as I want with these brushes. So. I don't really have to worry too much about this part because I know I'm not going to be able to transfer that part onto the nail. So this is just me gauging how much I'll be able to transfer onto the nail. Okay. So let's go ahead and work on the hair. I have a hot pink for her hair which is slam book. So picking up the pink. I was thinking about doing like Little Mermaid color her since she's a redhead, but I was like, eh, I'll change it up. So ensuring that the polish is wet, I'm gonna add more polish to So we're gonna be jumping into summer here soon. What kind of plans do you guys have? Are you traveling anywhere? visiting some friends, family. Write down your comments inside the chat here. And in between, I'll try to, my best to take a look.
little more pink. Ooh, Jacqueline said she's going on a cruise to the Bahamas. That's nice. I've never been on a cruise before. And needless to say, I've actually never been to the Bahamas either. And to be honest, I don't know if it's just because, on, I mean, I haven't really got to that side of the world yet. So I'll add it to my list. I need to add going on a cruise in general onto my list. Okay, you guys want to see what the mermaid looks like so far? Oh, a Ren Fair. Haven't gone to one. That sounds like fun. Okay, now I'm going to go in. What's the most amount of colors I've used in one image? Oh, gosh. Honestly, I think that answer just depends on how, like, the image. I want to say that I probably have used maybe upwards of, like, 10. It's easy to use about 10 plus images. I'm um, sorry, polish colors. Especially depending on how detail-oriented you want to get. And that's kind of cool too, because you're not limited by, you know, you're only limited to your imagination. And last, I just need to paint the starfish. So I'm gonna go in with this yellow. Honeydew. So this mermaid is good to go. Now we just gotta wait to get it transferred onto the nail. So I'll just put that on the side and now I'm gonna work on the next design which is gonna be a scallop shell design. And let me kinda clean up some of these polishes cause it's looking kinda nuts over here right now and remove some of the polishes that I'm not going to be using for this next part. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. So I love using this as like a palette cleanser because there you go now I can it's ready to reuse so easy with the cleanup so I think the question I saw here is how long can I wait Lisa is asking how long do you have to wait before you can stamp this I can wait forever to stamp this and the reason why I say that <clears throat> is because we have this lovely product called the sticky base coat so i will wait um until basically i'm done with the, the next image to stamp this on and that will give 
a chance for all of the polish to dry. And so once I put the sticky base coat onto the base of the nail, I can go ahead and transfer this image on with no problem because I will be using utilizing its tackiness. Okay. The last image is going to be this beautiful scallop design here. And I am going to be picking that up with hmm. sorry, I had a brain fart. Um, I have gold rush here. Let's take off the bits and stuff that we don't need. Oh, I just realized I have a rip in this, but it's okay. Can still utilize the stamper even though there's a rip in it. Okay, so I know earlier I had asked about vacation plans and I can feel like we've moved on since then. Um, let's, ooh, Kelly says she's going to Greece. <gasps> oh, my heart. That sounds so awesome. Heading Rocky Mountain National Park to camp. Wow. Sunbathing, I'm in North Ireland and we don't get 25 degree weather here very often. Nice. Make sure I put the sunscreen on. Um, wow, you guys got some really awesome plans. Okay, so I'll have this image and let's just make a start. I'm actually going to be using sandbar. This is another color in the Sunrays collection that has not come out yet. And it is a sheer iridescent, but I like the effect that it's going to give when it transfers to the nail. And that's why I put on a white base. So I like doing, um, there's like really no rhyme or reason for doing coloring it in. You know, I'm not going to make a pattern. I'm just going to kind of go where my brush takes me, so. Okay, so that's one scallop. So you can kind of see what it looks like. So cool, you guys got really fun plans. I will be going actually on vacation soon. Um, next week. And actually, I'm going to be in uh, Grandma Mimsy's neck, neck of the woods for a little bit. <laughs> so if any of you know where Grandma Mimsy, I know she's mentioned a number of times of where she's located. I'll be there and then I'll be heading up to the Pacific Northwest never been to Seattle and that's where I will be ending my trip. So I got a lot of fun things. Unfortunately, um, I will be heading to Vegas because I have a celebration of life to attend uh, for a family member and um, it'll be very family oriented. 
which is nice. Um, haven't seen some of these people in a while. So, got a lot of things to do. Oh, let's see, got, <laughs> um, I see you guys are writing in where you guys are from or where you've lived. You've lived in Vegas. I used to live in Vegas too. Now it seems kind of a long time ago. And I still have family who live back there. I go back pretty often. Um, a lot of my friends actually still live there. So, and uh, when you're from Hawaii, a lot of people relocate over there for very obvious reasons because it's so expensive here in the islands. So um, Las Vegas is called the ninth island <laughs> for a lot of people who relocate because that is like a, a homing base for a lot of local people here or Hawaiians in general. I'm sure if any of you have lived in Vegas, you guys can probably agree to <laughs> to that particular statement. So that's what it's looking like there. So I will be putting on like more opaque colors, but I kind of like that little flash of color that this offers, so. And just kind of, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason, just kind of putting it wherever. Sounds like the hockey team is doing good in Vegas, too. Not that I really keep up with um, sports, but. I have family members who do. <laughs> oh, I see like cruise conversation going on here. Okay. I'll have to jump into this when I am done. Oh, thank you. Um, I think that was a comment from Lisa. Sorry for your loss. Uh, thank you so much. Um, okay, so let's go in with this Kailua baby color that I've been just so loving right now. <laughs> Again, going in with this color, we're just going to go randomly. I guess it's just my technique, but I like to kind of do the outer edges of the design and then color in.
somebody's watching from Japan. Welcome, welcome. Suzu K. Okay, I'm not too familiar with the time difference right now because I know it's a day ahead. Is it nighttime or daytime in Japan? But thank you so much for joining us. Yes, and I saw Dev, she will be visiting later this year. I'm ready to go back to Japan too. How do you fix when image picks up while filling in the space? How do you fix when image picks up while filling in space with polish? Um, I'm not sure I understand the question. Are we asking like if say for instance you want to fill in some of the lines that didn't uh, pick up? If so, actually I'll probably go in and like lightly fill in those lines. Kind of like what I did with the the mermaid and the eyebrow. But that answer is for the um, like the line work if it doesn't pick up. If I feel like I need to fill it in, that's what I will do. So the two colors I'm using, um, sandbar is the iridescent color and the purple is called Kailua. And now I'm gonna go in with North Pole here. Like I said, since I don't get to use like a lot of special effects stamping polishes, I'm going in. So designs like this is just repetitive. Um, hope you guys are still with me. I'm almost done with this. And then we have to put it onto the nail. And I also have to transfer the mermaid. 
So, thank you for bearing with me. So I know people ask for reverse damping, but I don't know. How relaxing do you guys find this? Do you find it to be tedious? Do you enjoy watching these? Or it's like, oh, let's speed it up. Let me know. Sorry, it's so quiet over here. This is like deep concentration, feeling the pressure. I'm sure you guys also want to see what the design kind of looks like after I paint this next one. I will be happy to show you guys. That's what it looks like so far. What do you guys think? to fill in this area over here. Okay. I'm going to go back in with the purple, which is the Kailua color. So I got one more scallop in the middle. Which I think... That's what the design looks like. What do you guys think? The Sunrays collection is not out yet, but it will be this week. So make sure you guys are signed up to our newsletter.
partner app. We will definitely let you guys know. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the mermaid while I let the fish scales dry because I used a lot of polish. Okay, but this is dry. And over this tip, let's go ahead and finish um, or put a thin coat of sticky, sticky base. And this is why it doesn't matter how long we have to wait. So I, what I mean by that is like, um, you don't have to worry about like, oh, there's a specific time frame. I only have, you know, 10 minutes to tra transfer this design. Before that used to be the case, but now that we have a product like this, I don't even recommend doing stamping like that. This way you can get all of your details on from your reverse stamp design and transfer it onto the nail by using the sticky base coat. What happens is once you put a thin layer over, there is like a tacky time frame. Now this is where you have to be careful. Um, I would normally recommend 45 to 45 seconds to a minute. And when you touch, you don't want it to be wet. You want it to be tacky. So like right now it's too wet. Probably have to wait a few more seconds. Okay. Sometimes I have a tendency to talk too much. I don't know if you guys can see that, probably not, but um, I can see my fingerprint designs in there. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer this image. Okay. So like I said, I knew I wasn't going to be able to transfer everything. And actually, I'm going to transfer some of the pieces that didn't make it on the other side here. Okay. So now let's see. Alrighty. Now, if this was on your nail, all of these excess pieces and stuff, you would want to take off with um, some acetone, because this would be on your, like on your skin or in your cuticle. So what I would do is just grab some acetone on your cleanup brush, and you would just melt those pieces away. You don't want too much because you can reconstitute the polish and stuff, but if this was on your nail, that's what you would want to do. Kind of like um, chemically cut, I guess, the design. It almost acts like it's melting. Okay. So there. And now that is on the nail, let's go ahead and add our smudge free top coat. So the next one, let's see. This should be ready. And I just painted a white base coat because I want the coloring to come out as opaque as possible. So again, we're gonna just put a thin layer of sticky base coat over this white. And I'm gonna clean that off because I don't want white to get onto the next design if that should be the case and have a clean brush okay i'm going to wait for
for that to dry. Let's see, so the question is, have we tried reverse stamping and then shrinking? I wouldn't recommend that, and the reason for that is um, I would do it actually the opposite way. You don't want to shrink your design because all of this, you see how it's like kind of cracking? You would want to shrink your design and then reverse stamp if you're doing it that way. This looks way too wet, but let's see. Mm, wait a little bit. It's ready to transfer. So let's do there you go. So I just saw a comment too about um, wishing that this, the stamper, um, this part was clear. So the reason why this is part the shrinking stamper and it can't be clear is because the clear stamper doesn't really have the same flexibility and stretchability as this does. So um, this can be like molded the way that you need to. Actually, since I have you guys on, I can just show how that process works, I guess, you know, shrinking. So like if you are a person that has small fingers, fingernails, And with kind of like actually <laughs> I'll do it like this put it on the cap I guess and with even pressure pick up so you see how small that design ended up getting from that size to that size so if you have, you know, people who have like baby nails, this would be perfect. So the question would be, after now you shrink that, I would color this part in and then transfer this to the nail. Okay. So again, so you can kind of compare the difference. So again, just to answer the question, make sure I answered it correctly. This, you see how flexible this is with, and it has so much give. If I were to do this to a clear stamper, I would bust my stamper. Um, it just does, it has flexibility, but it doesn't have that kind of level of flexibility where I can stretch and pull this, you know. So I, th I saw someone ask if I could do that again. Let's see.
the problem with this for me is getting it to pull evenly. So when you pick up, it shrinks evenly. So you see the, the comparison. So that's what this does. And here, again, just because I stamped it, so you can see the difference between the two mermaids. Okay. Alrighty. Now, I didn't put a top coat on the scallop shell, which, oh, here's my swatch free. Okay, so these are the designs I have today. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me. I know today was a long one, but I know you guys really love the reverse stamping. So I love showing it to you guys whenever I can, but it is time consuming. So thanks for sticking around. But here's what we got. So I wonder how you're going to rock mermaid core. Actually, will you? Is this a, a vibe, an aesthetic that you guys can jump behind? We have so many beach themes, um, beach plates, with fish and coral and shells and all kinds of stuff. The plates are linked in the description. Actually, let, let me know, do you have a favorite? A, B, C, D, E, or all the above? Let me know. Or one, two, three, four, five. Trying to see, is it coming in clearly? Sorry, I keep moving it because I feel like it's not coming in clear. Seems like these are kind of the most faves right here. Okay, well definitely leave your comments below. Thank you so much for uh, staying on with us today and I hope that you get your mermaid core on and try these really cool designs or if you see any other, there's a lot of really cool designs on any of these plates so you could really try some different um, looks, different colors, the sky's the limit. Uh, but thank you again for joining us for today's Maniology Live. I will see you guys next week. Um, normally, Dev and I switch off, but um, because I'm going to be going on vacation, you guys will be seeing me again next week for another fun-filled Maniology Live. Um, and I don't really see too many questions. So um, feel free to add any other comments. You know, we do go through them after the show and today was awesome so thank you one hope you guys have a wonderful tuesday have a wonderful rest of the week have really fun on your guys vacations and stuff too to kick off your summer and um definitely let us know if you do any of these styles i'd love to see what you guys do but have a good one take care bye